Glad I took that trailer off. Yeah. If I got up there, I wasn't going to be able to get back down with it on. I think you would have just gone right over the top and kept going. I would have had to. I Launched it. I wouldn't it. have been able to turn it around, but um, I'm glad I got rid of those air lockers and put those E lockers in, though. Yeah, they were causing a bit of issues for you, weren't they? Yep. Last trip, press the button, compressor, brrrr. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to swap Milo over, you know, just because I don't like to swap things out if they're still working, yeah. but then they weren't working. <laughs> yeah. And how good's this? Click the button, bang, that's it, it's all done. Less parts to worry about, you know, you don't have the compressor, you don't have the airline fittings, you don't have the actuator, you don't have the seals. You know, I mean, I always have said that diff locks make a real four-wheel drive, you know. Before I got anything else, I'd get diff locks. The old diff locks, they were the product of last century, and the e-lockers are the product of this century. Yep. They really are. The it's evolution. It's evolution. Yep. Yeah, well, you don't have uh, oil blowing back through your lines on it with an e-locker. No. <laughs> I've got a gap now on Milo's dash where the compressor button used to sit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a compressor under the bonnet now that doesn't get used very often. If you decided to take your kids to the top of that hill, you know, you'd want the security of knowing yep. that you had both lockers to crawl up there if that's what you wanted and, and at least the rear locker to give you stability to come back down yep. and, you know. And no noisy compressor ruining the serenity. <laughs> <laughs> and it's showing respect to the track yep. and your truck. Exactly.